What is going on guys? I'm the white guy. Today we're playing some more MX versus ATV Reflex. We're checking out a track called The Barn, which is in the beta track section of Reflex Central here. And oh boy, that, 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 that's, a, that's a doozy right there. It's a, it's a little bit more top end. We'll try that one again. Uh, this is by Hyperbore A681. I believe he said this is just an old track him and his friend used to dink around on. And he posted it in case anybody else wanted to play it. And he said he added some jumps and stuff, but it's still mostly the same track. And uh, hopefully we can actually send what I'm assuming is going to be the finish line jump here. It's not raceable right now, but oh, just clipping that tree. They were doing 360s for days. We're going to make that jump work, though. We will. We will have to come around. We will make that jump work one way or another. It will. It will be mastered. It will. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here. Let's turn around. Let's pin the throttle and let's make sure we don't clip that tree this time. There we go. So just got to dodge the trees. You can sail right on over pretty easily. Guess that's not part of the track. I guess that's just one of those free ride jumps I was talking about two seconds ago. They said you added to the track to make it more fun. I hope we are going the right way. That is oh boy, that is a that is a popper right there. You fly way on up there. That is fun. Let's snag that inside. Step up, tire tap that. Nope, not even tire tap. Just a step up, step down. I really do like that section right there. I think we're gonna try and huck a backflip out over this tabletop. A little whipped out backflip of that for style points, and <laughs> but we landed it. We just uh, got bucked on the landing there a bit. But these jumps are all really big. It's a really fun track to play around on. So we'll just uh, hop on down, and yeah, you got wreck avoided really quickly if you don't land it. Cause this track is made of, like super hard dirt, so no real margin of errors for you there. We can throw out some. We're gonna start doing some tricks over these bigger jumps though to get style points because style points are what actually matters. Throw a kiss of death flip, hop back on, bring it around, nice and smooth, perfect. Just rail through there. We'll try and huck a 360 switchblade off of this. Oh, now this 360 did that weird glitch thing where it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. You like, like that, where you just end up doing a 180 instead of a 360, and then you just kind of get screwed over at the end and you can't do anything about it. So we're just gonna. As much as I hate to, we're just gonna have to roll off the edge of that. And we're gonna. Oh, we do, do a little bit of first person. Scrub that. There we go. Let's bring it back. Pound out a whoop roller bump thing. Cut to the right. And send it, whip it over, bring it back, bounce off of that, there we go. Let's keep this going, keep her going, scrub that, probably shouldn't scrub that, scrub it the other way, and then scrub that just to be safe, bring it around, bring it back around, and jump to flat, perfect. And let's hop back on the track now, there we go. Alright, here we go, it's easy little tripler, bend to the right, keep bending to the right off of that jump, that might be the finish line there actually. There we go, and this is a very, very fun track, by the way. I really do like this. It's not, it's a lot of fun. Not hard, just a lot of fun to mess around with. Lots of, lots of fun here. Let's get through these little roller things. I don't know what to call these. I guess that's the rhythm section, I guess. Now we're gonna tire tap, tire tap, tire tap, tire tap, tire tap. One more tire tap for good measure. Step up, and we'll just tire tap off. There we go. And we'll just send a big old bazaar off of that. Float back over, hop on the bike, there we go, nice and easy. And let's uh, keep going to the left here like NASCAR, just turn left very aggressively and tire tap absolutely everything. And there we go, I think that's a lap, I'm seeing ruts, I believe we just did a lap there, awesome. Now we can like really whip that bike out there and pull it around and do all sorts of fun stuff, can't we kids? Alright, here we go, let's get over that scrub. Oh no, 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 oh yeah, Kool-Aid, yes, that. Uh, it's just, it's trying like not die for so that's gonna be a, a bit of a hard buck there. Oh yeah, and by the way, as long as I'm talking over this video here, I do have some other, uh, 4x4 videos I might get, I might be able to make some for you, make a few more in the next couple of weeks, or if you guys are interested in seeing more of that stuff, let me know, because I do have some interesting little clips there if you want to head on over to my Instagram page, you can get a preview of what may or may not have videos coming out, I'm not sure if I want to take the time to go through and edit all them together because I'm not sure how many people are actually going to watch it, but uh, yeah, it's a thing. could be happening. It's going to be fun. And let's actually just set the bike back down here. Let's, let's, let's just bang out one more lap here really quick. And let's just do a... Going for style points now, obviously, with the 360s. And of course, you just 360 scrub into the base of the landing the right way and you'll be perfectly fine and ready to go. And you can just scrub off of that, spin it around, bring it back. <laughs> oh, you should have whip glitched that instead of scrubbing it, actually completely lied about that. I apologize. We'll scrub that one, though. 
And we'll 360 switchblade that one pretty... hopefully, nope. Uh, the 360s in this game are just unpredictable. Sometimes they work like that. Other times, like probably this one, they don't, and you just <laughs> bite it. I don't know why the, the 360 engine in this game is a bit iffy, which is probably why they just completely got rid of them for Alive and Supercross. They just didn't feel like fixing it, so they took it out and deleted it. Yeah. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll stop with uh, the Supercross bash. You know, like, that game is pretty atrocious. I would not buy it at this state point in time. I'll just wait and hopefully they make something that's not that. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, we just keep scrubbing along here, bouncing our way through these whoops. Haha, <laughs> I get it because uh, I crashed and I meant to say whoops because I crashed while we're going through whoops. Huh? <laughs> you get that pun? Does it make any hurt on the insides? It's just a. Uh, you're cringing super hard and maybe you're just like slowly dying on the inside now because I just made a shitty pun. Yeah, bet you are. And we just wrecked off that. I meant to do a double backflip and we did two tricks instead, which is uh, usually not a good combo. We can't probably just ride off this no-handed though. Yeah, sort of. We just ride off with the hands crooked like we're a hipster. That that works, I guess. Let's just uh, get through these little whoop roller rhythm section thing. Don't know what to call it. There we go. There's a wheel. A little bit of a whip glitch, because I can English super well right now. And we'll try and double back off of this if we can. One, two, you can almost triple flip some of these, I bet. There's a nice and easy double backflip, though. We'll try and, uh... No, we're not double backflipping that. That was, that was a mistake. That would have been a bad mistake. You can probably double flip this tabletop, though. If I got the glitch to work, we'll do a, just do a no-handed flip. Stomp it out, and just tear tap all the way on over there and back onto the track. Just completely ruin the inside line there. Don't even come close to taking it. And we'll do a switchblade 180 into the face of the jump. There we go, kids. That is how you do the 180 underflip. Believe it or not, fun little trick you can do there. And we're probably going to end up... Oh, we should have just doubled that triple. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit of a painful landing for the rider there. All right, here we go. This, this one should be able to send pretty easily with a backflip. Yep. Just float her on over and set her on down. Tire tap through those. Look a sharp right-hander over that, and double flip, maybe? Oh, it was very close to crashing, but now we got away with a smooth-ish. <laughs> and double flip, but the, the ish <laughs> is very important when you're uh, describing the fluidity of that double back flip there. It's hook around the corner right there. There we go, scrub to the right, and we probably should have scrubbed a little bit harder right there, but we're fine. Super hard whip glitch to the right again there and bring it back onto the track. I think that's the finish line that there. I can get on the brakes just enough to scrub over that and then whoop roller section rhythm things. I, I don't know what to call these. I guess this is, can be a rhythm section or a whoop section depending on if you're me or if you're actually good at the game here. So we're just gonna tire tap our way on through, launch over to that, launch over to that, and hopefully we hook a double backflip up over here. No, we're not getting a double flip there. That might be a finish line jump, though, because that is just massive how big that is. This one you can't carry much, much more speed through, though. So it'd be nice if there's a jump at the end of this, but there isn't. There's just a 180 hairpin. And let's hook around there. You can probably double flip this one, though, if I actually just time the glitch just right. There's a double backflip. Nice and easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Grab the outside line because we like out. We could like going to the outside on this channel and, uh,. Triple! Almost, you can almost triple single that, but I don't know what the benefit of doing that is. I don't think there is one. You can almost double back with that too, but I didn't get the glitch to work, so we'll just settle for a 360 to case life to step down smoothly. Completely intentional, I swear. There we go. Step on over to the right there, hook the left, and I really want to get a double back with no hander in. Or double grab flip. Whatever works. Just, a, I'd like to get a combo double flip of something in, because these jumps are just so big, it should be pretty easy to do. There we go, let's scrub off of that, 360, 180, I lied <laughs> off the face of that one, that's uh, that's not how 360s work, is it? No, it is not. So we're going to hopefully just uh, cruise over that and scrub off of that a bit, a little, little, little bit sideways, a little bit sideways. And yeah, we're not double flipping this, there's no way it's not steep enough, that's just a floater, not a floater, it's, that's just a distance skit, that's just a gap jump right there. <laughs> Cut into the right, and... Yep, there we go. There's, there's a half-ass uh, 420. I think we just did there. It's not a three. It's a little more than 360. Not quite 540. I think we just did a 420. 
No pun intended. There we go. Let's go to 360 off of that. Hopefully we can just huck a double backflip over the next big jump here, though. Scrub off of that, because we do have to drop some speed to grab the inside line, which may or may not be a cheater line. And we didn't screw it. We didn't get enough speed to do the next jump there, which is unfortunate, but not a problem, because we can uh, just completely just go off the edge. Oh, those trees are actually solid trees. That's nice. We're going to cut the track here a bit, though. I just want to just cram in one more double backflip combo wombo thing. So let's just... Uh, Bring it on over, bring it over, keep going, keep her 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 going. All right, here we go. Just got to line this one up perfectly here. This this should be pretty easy to do. Nope, that's not going to work, and we'll just stomp that one out. There we go. About to call it a day right there, though, because I'm running, we're running out of time for this video, guys. So if you did make it this far in the video, I do honestly appreciate it, because maybe, maybe not everybody does. Hopefully your back to school's going all right. Hopefully you're still enjoying this channel because the views are starting to peter out, I'm being honest. And if you do enjoy this channel, I do honestly appreciate all your support for making this channel what it is. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.